friends welcome back to arc tutorials this is react js full tutorial series for absolute beginners in the last episode we learned the most important concept in react which is jsx if you have missed out on that part i'll request you to kindly go through that because that is the fundamental to all the code that we will be writing going forward right from this episode today we are going to write our first component in react Today you will know how to write reusable smaller components and reuse them in different parts of the project. We are taking baby steps. I don't want to rush you, but trust me, at the end of this tutorial, you will be good enough to start writing the basic React application. Let's get started. This is part eight of the series. Today you are learning how to write the first component in React. All right, so there are four important things that you need to understand before you write the react component all right so the first thing is you will export the component without exporting you cannot use it anywhere else in the project why do we write components components are nothing but smaller pieces of ui that you want to reuse or you build in your project so the first thing you will do is export the component without which you cannot use it anywhere outside the second is to define the function okay the third is to implement the markup and last what you will do is call that particular component these are the four simple steps that we will do today to write our first component i hope you are excited i hope you are really charged because after this episode you can you can imagine how to start putting together the layout all right that being said let's jump right into it to the code while i'm bringing this up make sure that you hit the like button all right so we will close our app.js we will make notes whatever is required in this episode today we are learning writing components all right perfect so now all right so we are writing our first component so what we will do inside our project folder inside the source folder create a new file okay i want you to create a new file let's call it my button.js okay create a new javascript file just call it my button.js all right very simple nothing complicated okay like i said the first thing you will do is to export the component you need to export it and you will write default function and let's call it my right so remember that needs to be in caps so my button and it's a function you'll close it here and you will write return parenthesis and then you will in between we will write our markup that's what we learned as part of the jsx if you see here we wrote clearly that we will have a function which will have a return method inside the return we will write markup language that's what we discussed in episode 7 make sure that you are following and make sure that you are practicing so that you have continuity in your learning so this is what we have written we have written this is a default that you will write for any javascript uh, react component you will write export default function followed by the function name the first alphabet should be caps uppercase that's why m capital and then here you will write your markup and here we will return uh, say i'm i'm feeling lucky okay so i have my first component ready that's it if you have written so far with me congratulate yourself because you have just written your first react component but we still have one more piece left which is to call this so let's go back to app.js and in the in the after this import write import and you can import my button because that's the thing and inside the app inside the markup we can add my button and you will close it so this is a component that you are reusing in app.js to build this page 
go to your browser refresh the page and you are seeing the button that means you just wrote your first component which is nothing but a button that's okay and you are you just learned how to reuse it in app.js that means in any other javascript file you can call this component and you can use this component right this is a simple example i am giving you but just imagine that any react application is built with similar components smaller reusable components what is the fundamental to writing that you need to export that component you will write default function followed by the function name and then you will inside the return you will return the markup the thumb rule is all right so the you will write export default function followed by the function name okay and you will write the return and then you will return the markup here okay that's the common syntax for writing a component you cannot write you cannot write a component inside another component okay that's not allowed you can write function methods outside this that's fine you can add some function here this is fine but you cannot write another component inside this component okay that's not allowed third thing important thing now let me show you by making this small case all right now it says see keywords right now my button is defined but never used so i'm going to bring it here from there and you go here and you don't see the button right because it's it should be in upper case okay so here you can check my button and you would still not see it because it has to be upper case okay the first uh, alphabet should be upper case that is caps and while calling also you will write upper case and then it will recognize that it is a component and you're getting the component in the page so remember the first alphabet should be upper case the, the i would say the the uh, first alphabet of the component function name name should be upper case okay which is like this okay when you don't need it you can delete this all right so congrats you just wrote your first component and you called it in app js okay i hope it's clear now again the ground rule remains the same that we learned in jsx we can use the we can use the variables inside the markup also here right we can use the variable we learnt everything return will have only one parent element it cannot have two root elements right we learnt all of this as part of jsx 7 yeah, this one episode 7 jsx we learnt everything so make sure that you go back and revise if you missed that because every component in react will start looking like this exactly like this the default structure is just you have the basic export default function followed by the return and you will have the markup inside you will do the logical operation he right here okay and then to call it you will import that particular javascript file inside right and then you will just call it as a regular element which is a reusable component right now i hope it's clear i hope now you will be able to write your own components right and it's clear the even better way actually i gave a wrong name here it should be upper case but again that's okay file name is fine all right so i hope it's clear i hope now you are able to follow these four things and able to set up a component because next episode we are going to define the layout 
of our application using the components we will use bootstrap framework to design it our page will start looking like a professional page you will be building a professional react page in the next episode i am really excited i am sure you too are but like i said please do the fundamentals correct please learn the fundamentals even though it's painful sometimes you might want to pause do it and check because once you have your runway engine started we are going to fly thank you so much for joining please do hit that like button for me please do subscribe to my channel see you in the next episode